Okay, this video is going to look at cancer uh, for HSC PDHPE. Your syllabus states that you need to know the nature of the problem, the extent of the problem, particularly the trends. You need to know the risk factors and the protective factors. You need to know the sociocultural, socioeconomic and environmental determinants. And you also need to know which groups are at risk. So what is cancer? Cancer refers to cells that have become abnormal and begin to multiply rapidly and cannot be controlled by the body. Most time the body's immune system controls abnormal cells and removes them, but sometimes it cannot be controlled, usually due to poor diet, stress, or something else that slows down the immune system. Cancer cells invade surrounding tissues and can be deadly. Often to help minimize the damage, the body places the multiplying abnormal cells into a sac, which is called a tumor. Tumors can be both benign, which means non-cancerous, and malignant, which means cancerous. Malignant tumors contain cells that grow out of control and can invade surrounding tissues. Sometimes, cancer moves away from the original or primary site to other sites and organs of the body. This is referred to as metastasis or secondary cancer. There are multiple cancers, uh, most of which are named according to their location in the body. So skin, lung, prostate, bowel, cervical cancer, etc. In the, if the cancer moves to a secondary site, it maintains its original site name, e.g. skin cancer that has spread to the lymph glands is still called skin cancer. The current trends in cancer are that incidence is rising, uh, particularly since 1998, uh, but decreased recently in males after 2008. But along with these increases in incidence, we also have an increase in the five-year survival rate. This means we are more likely to get cancer, but less likely to die of it. This could be because we are diagnosing cancer earlier and have lots of screening programs. The most common cancers are prostate, breast, colorectal, melanoma, and lung cancer. Some risk factors for cancer include smoking, alcohol consumption, chronic infection, reproduction or hormonal issues, physical inactivity, poor diet, uh, high weight, family history of cancer, uh, radiation exposure, including radiation therapy and UV, uh, medical or pharmacological drugs, uh, including chemotherapy, and pollution exposure. Some protective factors include your HPV vaccination, screening tests for breast, cervical, and bowel cancer, prostate examinations, eating a balanced diet that is high in vegetables and fruit to help reduce the probability of most cancers, and being sun smart and not using solariums helps to reduce the risk of melanoma of the skin. Some social cultural determinants include things like our beach culture and being exposed to the UV and wanting to get a tan uh, increases our rates of melanoma. If you have a family history of cancers, you're more likely to get cancer. Another risk factor is family and friends uh, who are involved in risk behaviors increases the likelihood of a particular person also being involved in risk behaviors or also that the person will be affected by those risk behaviours. For example, a family member that smokes, you're going to suffer passive smoking. Some socioeconomic determinants. Uh, we see that lower levels of education have lower levels of health literacy and are less aware of the risk factors and protective factors for a range of cancers. It also limits opportunities for employment. People who work outside have greater exposure to the sun, which places them at higher risk for skin cancers. People who work with other known sources of radiation, such as X-ray, or are around electromagnetic fields frequently, also have higher risk of cancer. Income can restrict access to some health services, uh, primarily specialists, and people with lower socioeconomic status have higher rates of cancer and higher mortality rates for cancer when compared to other Australians. Some environmental determinants. We look at people living in rural and remote areas, they have a higher mortality rate than other Australians due to their lack of access to specialists in cancer and technology. Often rural and remote people need to travel to a major city for cancer treatments. People who live on the beach are also more inclined to be outside in the sun, which places them at more risk of some cancers. When we're looking at particular groups who are at risk, the elderly are more likely to have cancer, so are males, our indigenous population, people of low socioeconomic status, and people who live in rural and remote areas.